Wonder what's going on with Seattle real estate. Well, every month we do a deep dive into the data. This is our March 2023 report. We're talking about single family homes and townhomes. And we're gonna dig into all the numbers that just came out for February and talk about what they mean and what's gonna be happening in the Seattle real estate market. So hit subscribe to keep your finger on the pulse of Seattle real estate. And in terms of introductions, I'm Matt Goyer, Seattle area real estate agent, helped lots of people buy and sell homes over the years. My contact info is below, or feel free to ask us any questions or comments uh, below. But let's dig in, we got a lot of numbers to cover. All right, to start with, we're looking at the median sales price. And the headline generally has been that the median sales price is down 9% uh, year over year. So February, 2022, it was $900,000. And the median sales price is now $820,000. But I think the more interesting thing to look at is you know, the, the median sales price peaked April, May of last year at a million dollars. It hit a bottom here of $800,000 in January and it bumped up $20,000 in February from January. And I think we're gonna see the median sales price continue to increase here over the coming months, uh, especially as we've seen so many bidding wars uh, out there, especially for like the $800,000 to a million to single family home. This chart is showing you the number of closed sales going back the last uh, 10 years. And that last chart we looked at for median sales price, it's based off of these 423 homes that closed in February. And you can see that that's a big jump up from January when there was only 286 closed homes. Um, and then if we compare to February 2022, there were 477 closed sales. So the number of closed sales was down um, 11% year over year, which isn't surprising. Um, but it's good to see that the number of uh, closed sales increased, certainly over January. And I expect the number of closed sales is gonna increase here over the next couple of months. All right, so here's a look at those homes that closed in February. We're looking at the most expensive ones here at the top. So most expensive sale was this one for 4-1, second one, 3-6, 3-2-7-5. So handful of reasonable, uh, reasonably expensive homes closed, but not like crazy pricing. Keep in mind, we're just looking at the city of Seattle here. So just scrolling through and looking what closed. Uh, but probably more interesting is if we take a look and see, let's see who got the best deal. So this home, it sold for 75% <laughs> of its list price. So someone here negotiated a huge discount off of its last list price. Um, but you can probably see this isn't your usual, uh, your, your usual home in Seattle. Let's see, what's the next one here? So this one sold for 80% of its list price. Um, reasonably large home uh, in Roosevelt. And then the third place home here, it sold for 88% off of list price. Uh, another no, this is only a 2,100 square foot home in Roosevelt. So, so there's definitely a chance to negotiate off of list price depending on the home. But keep in mind the market is shifting kind of week to week and it's getting hotter than what it once was. Um, but just some examples there of some deals. And if we flip this around and look at the other side of the coin. So this home on Lake Washington Boulevard listed for a million dollars ended up selling for 1.54. So 54% over its asking. Second place home here, it sold for 34% over its list price. Um, so definitely that one got competitive. This is a new sort of modern fa farmhouse style home. Um, and then the third place one, let's see, 36 F Southwest, 27% over asking. I don't remember this one. Hmm. Need some remodeling. Surprised it sold for so much. Must have been listed low. Interesting. All right, so that's a look at closed sales. Now let's talk about the number of new listings. So here's a chart showing you the number of new listings that hits the market each month going back the last 10 years. In February, we saw 519 new listings. Kind of a small bump up from January when we saw 503. Uh, compared to last February, we saw 761 new listings. So buyers... Uh, last February saw a lot more new listings than they did this past February. Um, I, ex you know, I expect sort of from here on out, we're going to see more new listings month over month for like the next three, four, five months. Um, 
but I, I expect that we're not going to see as many new listings as we have in previous years. Um, and that's really what's keeping pricing, um, it's going to keep it high. So prices have come down 20%. I'm not expecting them to fall much more. And that's because so little new inventory has been hitting the market. And so we're in a very sort of inventory constrained environment here. Sellers are wanting to sell for whatever reason. All right, so here's a look at the new listings that hit the market in February. So at the highest end, we have a $10 million Capitol Hill estate. This home had been on the market before. Took a while to find the sweet spot on price, but this hit the market in February and is already pending, went pending in eight days. It's an 11,000 square foot true estate with a pool. Uh, the second most expensive new listing that hit the market was this uh, another Capitol Hill estate. This one's 9,300 square feet. Uh, listed at 6.8. And then the third most expensive new listing uh, is this sort of waterfront compound, floating homes, uh, home on land, and hit the market at 6 million. Now in terms of the other end of the spectrum, let's take, scroll down here. So cheapest was, uh, new listing was a parking spot um, on Western for $60,000, still on the market. Uh, or a co-op uh, for 225000 um, We've sold a co-op in that building before. And then the third cheapest one was a boat slip um, by Seward Park for two twenty-five. dollars And here's sort of a follow-on to that. This is looking at the number of homes for sale at the end of every month, going back the last 10 years. At the end of February, there's only 573 homes for sale, down from the 616 we saw in January. And remarkably, buyers saw more homes for sale at the end of December than they did at the end of February. And I'd expect that by February, we'd start to see more inventory. Um, but this is up a lot from last year. So last year at this time, there's only 296 homes for sale. Um, so inventory is up 93% year over year. But keep in mind, like last year was um, definitely a year when there was almost nothing for sale. Uh, certainly historically. And that's why pricing sort of went so crazy at the beginning of 2022. And then interest rates are what brought it down in the second half of the year of 2022. Here's a look at the median days on market going back the last 10 years. Um, you can see it really bumped up at the end of 2022 into early 2023, but the market's heating up now and the median days on market is down to 12. And I think we'll see this continue to drop as we move into the prime um, sort of real estate season here in Seattle. In terms of buyers putting homes under contract in February, so buyers put 478 homes under contract. Um, that was up from 421 in January. Pending sales basically trails behind new listings. So as more new listings hit the market, more buyers are gonna put them under contract. Uh, compared to last year, so last year, buyers put 658 homes under contract. So that is, uh, this year we're down 27% year over year. Um, but again, last year wasn't a lot for sale generally, um, but the market was just, buyers were super eager buying up everything there was. Um, so that's kind of what happened there. And if we flip over and we take a look at pending homes, here are the homes that went pending in February. So the most expensive was this uh, nearly $19 million waterfront estate in Laurelhurst, been on the market for nearly 200 days. $6 million sort of waterfront compound in Portage Bay went pending in five, though it had been on the market last year. And then the next most expensive, three, five in uh, Magnolia on Perkins Lane, it went pending in nine days. Um, and if we flip this around and we look at it, in the other direction, sort of the cheapest place that went under contract was a condo in South Park. Been on the market for 152 days. Another cheap condo down south, and then a $246,000 condo um, northeast Seattle, and that had been on the market 267 days. So definitely some sellers here that have been on the market a long time. They're glad their places went pending in February. So here's a look at the months of supply. This is a metric that measures how quickly all the homes on the market would sell if no new homes hit the market. And a balanced market is considered to be between three and five months. Um, 
uh, you know, supply of inventory. And we're at one month of supply right now in Seattle for single family and townhomes. So we're definitely in a, a seller's market. You know, for a while there, it looked like we were trending to get back to a buyer's market, um, but just there hasn't been enough inventory and buyer demand, even in the face of interest rates has been strong. And so months of supply has been one, uh, two months in a row now. And we'll just have to see what the spring season brings. I mean, we're gonna see, we should see more listings, but we're also gonna see more buyers and it'll just depend um, what that balance looks like between supply and demand um, to see how that drives this and, and really what the market's gonna be doing. Um, but let's, uh, we'll close out looking at interest rates. All right, so here's a look at interest rates over the last year. Uh, we're using my favorite interest rate website, Mortgage News Daily. A year ago, rates were at 4.28, so they'd already started to move up. Um, and then today, you know, it's, I'm recording this on March 10th, um, interest rates uh, earlier in the week were in the sevens, and then today have dropped down to 6.76%, so some nice interest rate relief there. Uh, for buyers, hopefully we continue to see some interest rate relief here and see interest rates get back down into the sixes like they were at the end of January, early February. All right, so to recap, so prices have come down from the peak in April, May of 2022. They've gone from a million dollars down to $820,000, and that's up just a tiny bit month over month. Uh, I expect we're gonna see more inventory coming. So the, usually the busiest months for new listings are gonna be April, May, June. So we're not far from that. So every week buyers should be seeing more and more new listings. So if you're a buyer, be patient. We've seen a lot of bidding wars simply because there's a lot more buyers than there are sellers, but there's gonna be more sellers and more homes on the market soon. So just be patient, hang in there. Uh, it's gonna get better. You're gonna see more options. There'll be fewer bidding wars. But certainly if you're looking at uh, more expensive single family homes, you're looking at townhomes, you're looking at condos. Uh, those homes aren't gonna have the bidding wars that we're seeing in the 800,000 to a million two range. Um, so there's certainly, if you wanna avoid a bidding war, it's totally possible. But you're, if you're looking for like a move-in ready home in great condition in a prime neighborhood between 800 and one two, expect you're gonna be in a bidding war situation and you have to write a really competitive offer. In terms of interest rates, They've been low, they've been high, they've come down a little bit just today, um, sort of anyone's guess. We have a lot of strategies for dealing with higher interest rates. Feel free to reach out, happy to chat about that. Uh, if you made it this far in the video, hit subscribe. We put out a video uh, weekly with what's going on in the market, it looks at different data than this. It's kind of our finger on the pulse of Seattle real estate. Uh, so hit subscribe for that. And then every month we put out a video like this that does a deeper dive into all the different numbers. If you made it this far, hit like. And if you've got any questions or comments about Seattle real estate, my contacts info is below, or just hit us up in the comments. Thanks for watching.